Hello Marvel Heroes fans, my name is Wilfred and welcome to my channel where you can see videos and guides on this free to play game called Marvel Heroes Omega. If you like this sort of guide, do check out the link below, there are more guides for you to watch, organized uh, very nicely, the most updated ones uh, will be there listed in my website. Now, um, I would like to make a video update for Magic right now because I think quite a lot of you may have uh, played the Necromancer in Diablo 3. And uh, as someone who has played a lot of Diablo 3 lately, I kind of like the summon uh, kind of concept. And I suddenly re realized that uh, magic actually is very much like a necromancer in, in, in many ways. So now let's take a look at the, you know, some of the power, like, you know, you, you can summon the, the demons here. Uh, uh, kind of remind me of the skeleton in, in Diablo. Uh, you can get a big one here. It kind of remind me of Golem, don't you think so? Uh, there are also power that use a health. Uh, to deal damage like the blood kind of a necromancer, right? So I use the health to, to deal damage. And last but not the least, of course, there's things like the uh, I can I can have bone war as well. I think if you are from Diablo two, uh, this should come as no surprise. But uh, Diablo three doesn't necromancer doesn't have it. So if you think that the fifteen dollars necromancer DLC is too expensive, you could actually pay eighteen dollars for magic pack uh, instead. Okay, now, uh, all jokes aside, uh, this guy is going to walk you through uh, the overview of magic in case you'd like to hear a little bit on what she plays like, uh, what sort of like, you know, what sort of uh, feature you'd like to aware of. Uh, if you are coming from the old timers and would like to hear a little bit of what happens to magic after the biggest update ever, do stay on for this initial part. After that, I'll go through the uh, talent trait and the... Um, and power just to talk a little bit about the you know uh, what kind of build you can pick out from uh, from a magic perspective and last but not the least i'll play some uh kind of uh, cosmic terminals just to showcase to you how she plays like all right now from a from an overview overview perspective uh she is a summoner very much so after the biggest update ever um i i think it, it's just one of those things that um i, I think because of the summon attack changes, she actually benefit from that. Um, that's kind of good news because any 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 gear that you have kind of summon tech to it, and you benefit the power. But the summon power also benefit by the mantle uh, as well as you know whatever tech that you have uh, you know to it. So it's good because previously the pet only inherit crit. Uh, chance and brutal chance and health, a bit of health, a bit of defense. Now everything goes into the pet. So you know it's just like melee just like range so it benefit uh, magic in that way now i don't know whether you have noticed or not but all my demons all my pets are gone so what happened after the biggest update ever is that they probably wouldn't want afk farming uh it's unfortunate because uh some some of these feature are being added into the update because of all these uh you know thing that other people do uh, but I kind of like my pet permanent instead of getting unsummoned but uh, you know it's not really a big deal because as as you really actively play in the game your pet will just come out as and when you command them to uh, so that's nice um, I I don't really have a lot more to say she's a mental hero she could do melee range which is hybrid or pure range in this scenario so that's about it as well um, and I mean, I, I feel that the talent design is a little bit odd uh, because some of the choices are really like, you know, not really uh, real choices to me. It's like if I if I want to build a summoner range, I mean, that is really all the choices I have. It's not that within range I can do something else or that much. And so I'm just going to talk a little bit more on that. Uh, do I enjoy magic after the biggest update ever? I do not think I, would, I play her any different. Um, at all, all the powers that I have got uh, is the same. It, the only difference is that I probably don't need to count the number of orbs around me in, in, in a way whereby there's a buff here. There's, right, right now, there's clearly quite a number of souls, um, plural, uh, that you can, you can see visually here. The more soul that you have collected, you know, of course, the higher the health um, kind of like cost, but then also, also you, you get like, you know, um, kind of like, more power from it but that besides that beyond that i don't really see anything different from my magic in in a sense so yeah so that that is really what i like to say about magic so that's part one part two is deep dive onto her talent power and trade 
So in this part of the video, let's examine a workshop build option you can have for magic. Um, I'm building her as a summoner and ranged. Uh, range is kind of nice because you know the, the power here is fantastic. I mean from an animation point of view, especially when you are actually uh, seeing from that angle. That is like a lot of very nice gracious kind of movement there but uh, you know beyond that I mean let's take a look at what option you have when it comes to building uh, kind of magic here now she is a fighting energy hero it's a little bit unfortunate because I, I was hoping that she's more like intelligent energy hero so because a lot of very nice gear for the summoner side of it uh, they have the intelligence in the past um, and you know kind of like intelligent now but uh, we can't use that anymore uh, but it is what it is and also a base damage is buffing the uh, the, the, the trade actually buff actually buff the summon power so I don't think it is an option to do away with summon I think in the past you could actually do away with summon just purely kind of melee I think now we probably have to uh, but I haven't really examined the pure melee without summon kind of build um, but I think looking at the trade is kind of ways because if you go for pure melee you lose all this base power and on top of that you don't have anything like crit chance or brutal chance like other heroes from a trade perspective uh, she is a defense the flat hero without um, without any dodge so if you have things like if you like to gear a little bit of defense because uh, I feel that she could be a little bit fragile uh, although she hardly get hits really but in a harder content if you feel that she's a little bit fragile you could actually build her as the uh, you know maybe in the cosmic the, um, artifact if you have one just get the you know get the uh, dodge to uh, sorry the uh, the dodge to it or if uh, in your kind of blessing if you go for Odin you may want to go for dodge as well if you feel that you know because she has zero dodge at all I mean at least for my magic so with the 1000 dodge to it uh, with you know without the diminishing well with the very little diminishing return compared to other stats we have uh, it could be a good thing as well all right now uh, let's look at tier one tier one I would say the, um, change the demon from uh, melee demon into range demon now I don't really I can't really quantify um, because it's always very hard to examine the output of the pet the tooltip will not tell you the attack speed of each of the power that they have for this kind of like a demon but um, it's occurred to me that um, it does a rather decent amount of damage like if you just take a look at the you know the, the one that you you execute that, that when you press button what happened uh, the demon does leap attack so leap attack each one of the dog or whatever it is does 12,845 and if you look at this one is 17,653 but then the thing is that you know one is like you know shooting venom at 14,000 or kind of thing while the other one is doing like you know 12,000 or plus 15 12,000 or 15,000 odd kind of thing so but then you don't know the attack speed so it's very hard to analyze it seems to me that this is rather kind of like the like kind of thing like okay you know this one pick this one doesn't really it doesn't yeah it doesn't really change anything at all just the demon whether it does the range or melee you could argue that the range one survived probably better than the melee because of the range to it but you know I, I wouldn't really take that far into the argument the rest of it uh, this one is that uh, okay so another question is that uh, shall you use spirit fans uh, as the main spender instead so you could actually do something like that instead so this one become like uh, your main spender uh, first of all I do not like the animation uh, that's number one she's just like very boring compared to the other she's like zombified it's just a zombie like you know what I mean so I, I don't read I absolutely hate it but the good thing about it is that it's, it's not great uh, the power is not great so uh, I've by my calculation that that whatever power it is um, kind of like 23 percent down on my gear that i have now of course i don't gear for summoner if you gear for summoner like if you have trident you have everything else just to boost the summoner that thing that you do probably is the the thing that you do um but i i really not getting it at all so uh that that's the reason why i don't pick i don't pick uh, sorry i don't pick this one and this one actually quite nice uh to be extra layer for range but unfortunately it buffed the melee i mean seriously i don't i don't do melee so what can i do this one is like I can't do this one but I would love to do this one should this one be um, you know buffing something else like overall crit or buff your demons or whatever then this is an option so again it's about the design of it so I, I know some of you are unhappy about me um, you know 
criticizing the game, but you know, do I hope that some of you realize that I, this is all constructive kind of like criticism because you know I would actually want to have a choice between these two uh, to say either I have a you know range card demon or I can buff my range uh, in a in a way right so I have another one as uh, as my layer instead of some of these things here so that would be real kind of options uh, but it is not all right uh, soul brand uh, which is the traditionally there was. Um, it was a specialization against the soul brand. So it's the same thing. Uh, you can either A, uh, kind of like, you know, um, increase all damage and whatnot. So I think in a raid environment, you will use this one to buff your, set, your magic as well as the uh, demon. Uh, but I kind of like the um, confuse. So whenever I use it, I mean, in this game, right, there aren't really a lot of like a confused kind of power without any cooldown. Usually a confused power will have like maybe uh, you know six second, eight second kind of cooldown, ten second kind of cooldown. It is uncommon to see um, the kind of thing. But then magic is one of the rare ones. Still, I hope they don't nerve it after this video. But uh, magic is one of the very rare one that you can just spam your confused across danger room and the mobs will just kind of kill each other kind of thing so it is very very handy in a hard environment but if you feel that well i don't really need it you know i, I can just dps my way then yeah i mean this one would be, better, would be a better choice um I, i'm not going to do this one um so this is the um all right so that is one another one is the dark pack and stuff like that um i is it's kind of interesting to have random demons and so on but i really am not I mean, I have other better option. Is that uh, I would like a tanking demon? You know, um, the the big guy there, uh, this big guy here with tank. So it is nice uh, as a magic that is ranged, and this one complement again pretty well. But uh, you know, it, is it a real choice or not? I, I think last time used to have a button here. I mean, why can't we have one button here? In a sense, uh, but I guess they try to limit you on number of demons they have. Otherwise, you have like you know both the demon they don't want to have that but there, there must be some other way to do this i mean that's kind of weird to have one talent just for us to to choose between the two demons in a sense you know what i mean so that is just one of those things i, I rather things like um uh, this <coughs> this one you know kind of like i don't know ha have some something different for 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 the whole gameplay in terms of the uh uh, in terms of the uh, you know how the how the mama, maybe it's like the uh, skeleton mage in in um, in Diablo three whereby I can use up all your spirit to get a really strong demon but only last for a while kind of thing I don't know stuff like that uh, but anyway uh, wrong game so another one is that on this tier uh, there's a vengeful spirit there are ways to acquire the kind of vengeful spirit which is the 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 the, the, the five kind of orbs around it. I personally do not like the, uh, I think a close up is nice, but at far it just looks weird. I'd rather it, it kind of like go somewhere, like not just like very linear, but it kind of swing around in a in rather nice, gracious kind of path, pattern. It will kind of pleases me a lot more. Um, I, I don't mind, because the thing is that after I do a vengeance thingy, and it's kind of nice because it automatically generate you don't need to kind of think about how to generate the only thing is the health cost but i can i can regen back my health so that's no issue or otherwise you will have the um you will trigger that thing here actually you know what i don't mind using this one at all but the problem is that if i use this one i really have no other power to use uh, you know, had this been a choice for me to use as a range build, then I would have picked this one and I used this one, uh, so brand, uh, sorry, the uh, the spirit fan as my my range layer. Again, it's just one of the thing that is a lost opportunity. I think that these two power could have synergized. These two talents should, could have synergized against each other. It's just that overall design of magic talent, it there aren't enough synergy around it. You know, like, oh, you pick this one, it makes sense because you relate to something else that you cross buff each other in some sense. You know, some other heroes define quite well, uh, quite well, but not just not magic. Um, another thing is that you gain additional soul when you hit with a melee and so and so forth, but I don't uh, have melee, so that's um, that's non, not for me. Uh, then after that, the uh, you could actually have the soul short wave as an eight second kind of like cool down kind of thing. Um, and then you can have the uh, sorcerer's eruption which is over there as a melee area um, I like, like I said I, I don't really do melee so that is not really for me uh, for me this is rather nice 
whenever I use the uh, signature, you could actually, you know, your, mini, your, your minions deal more damage, additional damage for 10 seconds. So that's nice. Uh, last but not least, if you like to play a little bit of back from uh, Limbo, kind of thing, where is back from Limbo? So one of the things is called back from Limbo, which is not what I'm using right now. I think this is a back from Limbo, which you could actually sort of like, you know, control another kind of like a uh, creature kind of thing. But uh, it's just one of those things I tried because I wanted to play a little bit of melee necromancer kind of build, but it's just not meant to be. So I end up having this one. And this one will synergize quite well if you have some affixes like while combat reduce a cooldown of signature by 10%, for example, uh, then it will be quite nice because then you have uh, more chance to proc your, your signature, which looks something like that. And if you have this kind of like a... Uh, um, Kind of like costume, everything is red in color. Just in case you wonder why is it red in color, uh, so that is the reason why. So that conclude the uh, the the sort of like you know the what kind of power that I use. So just to repeat, I use a soul shot wave. I use the soul brand to apply vulnerability debuff as well as to confuse. I use my hungry spirits to deal damage. Uh, using you know my health kind of thing, I just observe this counter. I have the little demon, I have the big demon, I have signature. I also have bone wall. Uh, I talked a little bit about it earlier on. This one is fantastic. You can have a few the bone wall here and there, and you block the thing. You can also interrupt bosses with the bone wall. I hope they don't nerve it. And it's very nice because the pathing, everything is blocked. So in the hard content, you're totally queen here. All right. So that's all from me. Uh, next bit is to look into cosmic terminal. So this is a uh, cosmic bugle with magic, mostly pre 2.0 gear. I've managed to get one cosmic kind of artifact, but that's about it. I didn't get any uh, costume core. Oh, sorry, catalyst. My bad. Change. Time has changed. I'm getting old. Um, so that I didn't have any, um, you know, the cost catalyst that is suitable for her and also but then i'm using a great 80 legendary because i love magic really i do uh but anyway enough talking just like let's just go in and do something all right so uh that is done and there's her flying kind of thing nothing here there uh, must be something here so i just go in there you can just like look at the range of things the number of things hit is just phenomenal um yeah just one of those things i love magic so yeah so there is one uh by the way, this is the cosmic co cosmic event, I think. Um, kind of thing. So you can like, you no, know, get a war there. You know, get a war here. Kind of thing. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. So there's some demons around. It does remind you of necromancer, does doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, okay. So next bit. Um, so I'm not going for timing here, I just relax. Uh, let's see, confuse. You can confuse them. See, they, they kill each other. It's very fun. Look at that, man. Well, I think I think they do. I don't know why they're still hitting me. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. So we can... Ooh, I can't... Yeah, come on, man. See, you can, you can see them killing each other. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, very little effort. Two confuse and one vengeful spirit and things are done. Done and done. Okay, his shield is up, so I'm not going to waste my time here. So you see, I can like um. Yep. So there is a uh, you know I hope you kind of appreciate how how relaxing that can be. Uh, a bit of thing here, take it off. You know, nothing too taxing. Um. Yeah, there you go. And by the time this guy hit it, yeah, done. Lizard formula! Wow! I've got an artifact. How nice it is. Uh, wow, lizard formula. I mean, at this rate, I just take anything. Oh, the rule is not that bad either. Yeah, alright, cool. Thank you, Gazian. Alright, so yeah, that's about it. Daily bugle. Um, I don't think I need to kill everything. Um, the bounty hunter. I think they change it to twelve instead of. But I have to get away from here. A little bit careful. Ooh. <laughs> no, the venture spirit is like. Uh, is it? I interrupted him. Huh? Kind of fun, isn't it? 
Yeah. I mean, you know, if you look at the damage, it may not be that fantastic, but in a harder content, it's actually very nice, uh, all these things. So, right, so that is, uh, that's done. Come on, man, kill each other. There you go. <laughs> so you see how good this, this thing is, yeah. Very little effort. Well, there's nothing to kill each other, nothing. Alright, so next one is the... Green Goblin. It's always a Green Goblin, isn't it, uh, here? Oh, wow. Don't die here, mate. Yeah, just... Ooh. Yeah, the problem is that the... Uh, the big demon doesn't really go anywhere sometimes. I mean, you got stuck and and because of the range kind of thing. I mean, that there's nothing I can do. It's just that, um, yeah, the, the pet is still not that smart as you can see. Oh, I've got um, this guy here. Well, the role actually terrible is for intelligence. I'm not intelligence anymore, but um, no, okay, cool. Probably use it for intelligence hero. Yeah, come on, man, kill each other. There you go. I'm just wondering where is the part that whereby it'll tell you um, I am close to the bounty itself. Because usually there's a bounty counter here. Uh, never mind. Uh, let's just continue playing. Hmm. Confused? See? They just like. That's it. I mean. Can it be any easier? Can it be more sinister? Yeah. There you go. Very little effort. It's nice. Yeah, the big one is not... Okay, so that's fine. The big one is... Let's see, I blocked him. It's nice. Yep, that's it. Very relaxing. Uh, after a long day of work, after you play some like Diablo Reef, probably this is the magic is the one that you should uh, you know consider playing. Ah, ah. Sorry about screaming. So, sometimes uh, it's just one of those things. Ah, this guy is crazy. Yeah, that's it. See what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, nice and uh, easy. Let's see what I have here. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. Oh, I got Spear Rune. Now it's rather a good time to play though, by the way. Um, for those who are like farming for runes, that is probably one of the uh, time that you should jump in and get some of this rare rune. Spear Rune is not that bad, actually. Uh, I, how, do you, how can you tell that it's not that bad? I mean, you think, you look at the, well, I think, um, yeah, it's not that bad. It's actually quite good for some of the rune words. So I'm going to pop the ultimate. She'll look like a Diablo version. You see what I mean? Ah. See? There you go. See, I can interrupt the boss, like, like a boss. Maybe I should go somewhere instead. Woohoo! Well, bye bye. So okay, that's all. And the uh, what do I have? Oh, she, look at her, man. She's like totally awesome, isn't it? Um, yep. I hope uh, at least. Oh, there's no bounty. Why on earth there's no bounty? Have they? Why in the world I have no bounty? Seriously. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened, seriously, because normally, I, when I kill that many mobs, I have an extra chest, and there are nuns. I don't know, man. Something is really wrong, wrong with this game. But anyway, I hope you guys get the idea of uh, how, how, this, um, how, how she plays like. And do drop me at the description below, uh, the comment below, 
and uh, how you like your magic. I mean, you know, uh, I, I found that the play style is exactly the same as before. Mm, there's not much kind of difference, um, but there's uh, sometimes it's good. I mean, you know, you don't have to change for the sake of changing. So I'll see you next time and feel free to request for videos as well. Uh, I'll try my best to accommodate uh, your request. I think some of, one of you asked for Emma Frost, so I may take a look at Emma Frost, I'm not quite sure, um, and among others as well. All right, see you next time. Goodbye.